Hello everyone and welcome back to the Tackle Share YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be learning about fishways, also known as fish ladders. These structures help fish pass obstacles, either natural or man-made, that interrupt their migration routes, such as dams, waterfalls, and locks. Here, you can see a Chinook salmon gather and attempt to jump past Corbett's Dam in Port Hope, Ontario. Over to the left of the dam is the fishway, where you can see one of the Chinook salmon using the fish ladder. Fishways are so important as fish need to be able to move through water systems to access different habitats and food that play an important role in their life cycles in maintaining the health of the aquatic ecosystem. Many fish species depend on migration up and down tributaries to reach crucial feeding or spawning grounds. Fish that migrate to spawn upstream and travel downstream to live their adult life in larger bodies of water, like the Great Lakes, are known as anadronomous fish. The most commonly recognized species of these fish in Ontario are the Salmonidae species, namely Chinook salmon, Coho salmon, Atlantic salmon, brown trout, and rainbow trout. When migration routes are disrupted by obstacles, such as dams, these fish species may not be able to spawn or reach places where they can access the resources they need to survive, like food in the Great Lakes, which would greatly reduce their populations. There are many different types of fishways, but their essential purpose is to create an alternate route for fish to make their way upstream past the obstacle to spawn. These structures have controlled water flow that can be adjusted so the fish can recognize the fishway as an alternative route while also not being too strong that the fish cannot swim against it. Some common examples include breaking the water flow into steps where the fish can either jump from pool to pool, increasing in height with each jump until it reaches the top level, or by providing breaks in the fast current to allow the fish areas of slow flowing water. These breaks are also called baffles and allow the fish an area of low water flow to rest before they using their next burst of energy to make their way through the fast current to the next baffle. Fish ladders also serve another useful purpose in the fight against the spread of invasive species. Also an anadromous species, the invasive sea lamprey needs to travel upstream to find spawning grounds to reproduce. Fishways are often insufficient for sea lampreys to use as they cannot jump, like Salmonidae species, to move up the pools of the ladder, and therefore they cannot access the upstream tributaries in which they require to spawn. They are first slowing their population growth. Many weirs throughout Lake Ontario tributaries have actually been lowered so fish can jump them, but lamprey cannot. Therefore, fishways not only help important fish species complete their journey upstream to spawn, they also help prevent the spread of invasive species. Ultimately, fishways help maintain fish populations, ecosystem health, recreational opportunities, and indigenous traditions. Here are just a few of the locations where you can observe fish ladders in Ontario. There are more fish ladders in Ontario, but these are the most well-known and publicly accessible locations to view the fish ladders in use. I will add more details about each location in the description below. If you aren't able to go to one of the fish ladders in person, you can always see footage of fish migrating through fish ladders in the Ganaraska and Credit River by visiting riverwatcherdaily.is. You can also watch footage of fish using the Thornbury fish ladder at biotactic.com. The link to Riverwatcher and Biotactic will also be in the description below. And as always, be sure to check the fishing regulations for species, seasons, slot sizes, and limits in the FMZ you plan to fish before heading out. And also, be aware of your proximity to a fishway. It is illegal to fish in any manner within 23 meters downstream from the lower entrance to any fishway, obstruction, or a leap. I'll put a link to the fishing regulations in the description below. All right, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've learned a little bit more about how fish weights or fish ladders work and how they are important to help maintain fish populations, ecosystem health, recreational opportunities, and indigenous traditions. Be sure to check out the description below for additional information. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. We have many more videos coming detailing game fish in Ontario. You won't want to miss those videos, so tap that notification bell to keep more fishing content coming your way. See you next time.